My name is Kazuki Akamatsu. Uh, I'm working at Saga Asia Consulting as an intern. Today, I'm talking about online sales in Myanmar. For a long time, it has been prohibited for foreign companies to operate trading business in order to protect uh, companies owned by Myanmar citizens. Uh, however, on 9th May 2018, the Ministry of Commerce issued a notification number 25, 2018 which allows retail and wholesale services for foreign companies. So if a foreign company wants to operate retail and wholesale services in Myanmar, it needs to obtain the retail and wholesale certificate under notification number 25. Nowadays, retail and wholesale enterprises are not only companies which are physical stores, but also those which sell goods online without physical stores. So my question here is whether or not such an online sales is allowed for in companies under the notification number 25. The number notifi notification number 25 does not provide anything regarding this point. The relevant newsletter number 2 and number 3, 2018, do not stipulate anything either. However, it is interesting that there is an online a shop site owned by Alibaba, the Chinese company. The name of this online shop site is shop.com. Through this online shop site, consumer can buy products which are sold by multiple third parties. Actually, uh, this has been launched in Myanmar in 2015, and Darat, the Pakistani company, found by the German venture capital company had operated it at that time. So, has online sales been open for foreign companies from the past? By the way, what is your image about online sales? I think there are many two types of online sales. Firstly, a service to just provide an online marketplace where products are provided by multiple third parties whereas transactions are operated by a company operating as such an online marketplace, for instance, Alibaba. Secondly, a service to goods, services to sell goods through online shop site by a company itself which operates such an online shop site, for instance, Amazon. Regarding the first type of services, as I mentioned before, Alibaba has been operating this type of online sales in Myanmar. There is a no publication that Alibaba obtained the retail and wholesale certificate from the Ministry of Commerce so far. Based on this fact, this kind of services may not include in a category of retail and wholesale services under the notification number 25 so far. So, as the second type of services, the second type of services may be included in a category of retail and wholesale services under notification number 25. This is because this kind of services are almost the same as those of retail companies, such as supermarkets, except that they do not have to have physical stores. According to officers of the Ministry of Commerce, they have still been discussing about which kind of online sales should get the retail and wholesale certificate. Shopping.com is applying the retail and wholesale certificate just in case. But the Ministry of Commerce has not made any decision on this. To my opinion, the Ministry of Commerce should require both type of online sales to get the certificate. This because both two types of online services operated by foreign companies have almost the same impact to change the existing system of, of local retail and wholesale services. Thank you for watching.